Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. We are redoing Ollie's bedroom. I'm gonna show you guys a before and after, and then we're gonna get hit right into the video. I'm putting on wallpaper. I am taking everything off the wall and painting some issues that we have to do, and then we're re we're giving him a whole new bed. He's going from a crib to a toddler bed. We are transitioning him into a big boy bedroom and this is everything. His whole room is being redone. We went from a simple, very simple nursery from just um, a dresser and a crib and a chair in here to like a whole new thing going on. Transitioning him from nap to like quiet time. We're trying to get all that situated before it actually happens. Transitioning him from a crib to a bed um so he can actually get up and go to the bathroom and we're also like transitioning him into being able to get out of bed because he's never been able to do that he's never gone out of his crib by himself this is all new for him we're gonna be putting the gate back up so he doesn't fall down the steps and we are putting some lighting along the trim of our upstairs just in case he gets up in the middle of the night it'll be motion censored so he'll be able to have the light on if he ever gets out of his bedroom and he needs us during the night along with in the bathroom so if he has to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night there will be a light in there so he'll be able to go or come and wake us up so that is what we're putting in place outside of his bedroom for inside of his, inside of his bedroom we're putting wallpaper up transitioning his bed, putting his shelving back up so he can have some books. And I think later on we might also add actual shelving so he can have things on the shelf um, that we don't really want him touching. But for right now we're putting it on his dresser because he cannot reach above his dresser and everything will be, all of his outlets are on one wall which will be covered by his dresser. So we won't have to worry about him touching the outlets or any of the wires because everything will be behind the dresser and then we're also going to bring his ikea table in here and put some stuff up along this wall so then he can have some toys in here and put a rug down and just make it more homey we are just really trying to transition him from a bed to a toddler bed and get him to the grown-up stage so when he's done taking his naps he can quietly play up here and get some time to himself so we can also have time for ourselves because transitioning him from nap time to just all day is tiring for everybody, even him. So if he does decide to take a nap, he'll be able to take a nap up here or he'll be able to do some quiet time like coloring or reading or playing with small toys in his bedroom. So that's what we're trying to transition him to. So that's what this bedroom is going to be all about transition and it's very difficult for everybody involved especially because he's not used to being able not used to not having us rock him before he goes to sleep it's a totally different transition if you would like to see a new nighttime routine with him in his big bed please let me know i'll definitely film that for you guys um, but I also want to mention thank you to Fathead for sending me some wallpaper. I'm super excited to be collaborating with them in this video. I'm so happy that they're giving me a coupon code for you guys. It is Jessica Lauren 20 It's linked down below. If you would like to get 20% off your order from Fathead, click on the link. They do wall decals, they do wallpaper, they do whiteboards and big poster boards and like the stand up poster boards for like parties and stuff like that. They have a bunch of different items that you could customize to your to fit your room or your home. It's amazing and I really love the fact that they had reached out to me and sent me the Avengers wallpaper and that is like the theme of his bedroom this year. Um, we're doing all Avengers everything. It's not one specific Avengers, it's just all of them and I really love the wallpaper that I picked out. Um, it goes very well with his room along with the colors so everything kind of just like blends together and it works out perfectly and I can't wait for you guys to see the entire process so let's just get to this. I 
Big boy bed. Can you lay down in it? Oliver, yeah. lay down in it. <gasps> wow! Do you love it? Are you gonna sleep in it? Yeah. We are working on patching up some issues. So the walls aren't drywall, they're like plaster. I don't know what's going on. So as soon as I peeled off those um, things to hold the wires up, um, it peeled off all of that, so I had to like spack all that on, sand it, and now I have to paint it, and that's on like both sides of the wall. So I'll have to do that. I have his curtains up. Um, I think I'm going to actually pull them up because they do hang a little too low and it's hitting the radiator right there. So I have to pull them up a little bit, and then that's like his curtain rod. Um, but we got that up. As of right now, we have like his camera on this just to keep it up so I can watch him at nighttime. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to get up really early and just paint the crap out of this room. Um, as soon as he gets up, I'm going to paint and then I'm going to start looking into what like shelving to put in here somewhere. It's either going to be on one side or I'm going to throw everything on this side and then decorate with um, picture frames. But yeah, day two. It's looking pretty good. Um, I couldn't do much because I had work, but yesterday I got through a lot. I got the wallpaper hung, got his bed together, got the curtains up, fixed the walls. <laughs> so now I just have to hang stuff and repaint a little bit and that's pretty much it. So we're almost there guys. Um From all things at once Without thinking twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind mm. The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm. And this road that I am on Gotta stay here for some time Time has gone and I grew up I somehow made it through without Inside. Mm. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out From the dark mm. The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm. And this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time
Okay, so I got another big chunk done. I put up the bookshelves and put up the books. My only issue is this needs to now be moved over here. And then I need to put the wire away so we can't get to that. I hung up his pictures here and I'm working on his name sign to go here. And then I hung these up and then I put his books right here. So all, and then I also put in his little rug. Um, it's enough for right now. I was thinking of getting a bigger one, but I didn't know what size would fit well in here and I really should start measuring stuff, but I just got this off of Amazon for now. So I'm really liking the way this is looking. Um, I do have another sign, like a canvas sign that I'm gonna put up here. I just don't know what I'm gonna do yet. So yeah, we do wanna put shelving in here eventually, but we don't wanna cover up the wallpaper because it's so beautiful and we love it. Um, but that's the only place where we would be able to put the shelving unless we move the pictures, like the um, Spider-Man pictures that we put in the corner to that wall with the Avengers and then put the shelving there because we eventually just wanna hide everything on that shelf so we no longer have anything on his um, dresser and he can't pull anything down or anything like that other than like maybe toys or something like that I do want to put a toy basket in here I just I'm running out of room to put things on the floor at his level um, so I'm just like trying to figure out where everything works well um, and I am like securely putting everything onto the wall I mean I'm really excited about this it's like nice and airy his room is really big and it gives him a lot of space to just grow and be him. Um, I know it is a small room um, and we can't put a lot in here. And that's why he has his like downstairs area to himself so he can have all his toys and everything. This is just for like sleeping and quiet time and a place to go that's his. Um, so yeah, I'm still working on everything and it's, it's kind of still chaotic. But I'm pretty sure this will be finished by tomorrow morning once I get that hung, the lamp fixed and the other canvas hung and then I'm completely done his bedroom and then I could show you guys the entire finished process. You had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride out of the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday Okay, so the room is finally finished. It's the next morning. I have everything up. It's ready to go. I'm gonna show you guys around the room. It's still kind of echoey, so I apologize for the sound. And Ollie is actually downstairs watching TV, so I'm gonna hurry up and do this so you guys can see it. I have everything hung up, everything where it's supposed to be other than his camera. I'm struggling to find a place to put it because I broke the neck of his camera, so I kind of like have to put it on something or it'll wobble down. Anyways, <laughs> I have to figure that out. As of right now, it's going to be on my tripod until I get somewhere to put it. So let's show you a full round of Ali's room, and then I'll show you guys everything and how I did it. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get so 
let's just start on this wall. This wall is his books and I added his Ikea table, um, a basket full of toys. You guys see me set up his books. These are Ikea spice racks. I actually got them like when we first moved in and I spray painted them a late navy blue which fits the room perfectly. And then I just made this last night and this morning I made it with my Cricut. It was a canvas from Michaels. I just stained it dark brown like a chestnut and then I printed the stuff out on my Cricut and put it on there. And then of course Fathead's wallpaper. I got this from Fathead.com. It's the Avengers Geographic Signature wallpaper. And then his dresser is from Ikea. We've had this for over a year now. I also wanted to mention in the corner um, that I got these sleek uh, outlet covers it's like everything's tucked back there but I, these are the only two outlets he has this one and the one on the other side and yes I cut off the wallpaper here just because you can't see it anyways and then he has his hatch sound machine that turns on automatically with the light and the sound and this is just on his dresser and then along this wall I actually made these on Canva I got the inspiration off of Pinterest and I just printed them out and I got the picture frames from Target. So those are those. And then his bookshelf, I think I got from either Target or Amazon. He's had this for over a year and a half. And then his curtains and his curtain rod. The curtain rod is from Target. It's just like a simple like um, diamond shape. And then I got the blackout black curtains from Walmart and they were really inexpensive as well um, and then along this wall um, I have his name sign which honestly I'm not too happy with this so I think I might redo this but for now it's the same stain as the other one that I made and then I just printed out his name with my Cricut the board is from Lowe's it was like $12 and then I attached it to the wall and then these prints I got off of Etsy, I paid for them, and then I just printed them out on my printer. And then the picture frames are from Target. And then his bed, I got his toddler bed from Target, and then the bedding from Amazon. I will link everything down below so you guys can have it. But it comes with the comforter, the pillow, and the fitted sheet, and the normal sheet. He just doesn't use the normal sheet, so that's what's on there. And then I have some hooks on the back behind his door, and that's why these are offset. Um, because the door is going to be open. That's where his like diaper bag and stuff goes up there. And then I bought this from Ross, and I thought I was going to put this on his walls, but it just doesn't fit and it doesn't like look cohesive. So I just put it on the back of his door. And because his door is going to be open most of the time, other than like for quiet time, I just put it on the back. So. That's his full room. I'm actually gonna set up the tripod in the corner so you guys could see his reaction to his bedroom because he has yet to see it. I know he's a toddler, but I think he's gonna be excited anyways because it's, he loves all the superheroes. So I'm gonna go grab him from downstairs. He's been sleeping in our bedroom, so he hasn't seen it at all. And I'm really excited to see his reaction to his new bedroom. He has slept in his bed for the first day after I was done doing everything, but he hasn't seen everything all up and ready yesterday when I was doing it. So let's go get him. Look at your feet for Do you love it? Do you love it? Look, it's the Hulk. Wow. You want to look around? <laughs> Ollie, how do you feel about your big boy room? Do you love it? The first thing he went for is the toys, so I'm sure he'll late quiet time. Do you love it? Yeah? So that is Ollie's full room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed his big boy transition into a big toddler room. He loves it. He's already on the floor playing, as you've seen. Uh, so if you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video and check out my other videos. I'll have a couple linked down below for you guys so you can check them out. And don't forget to check out Fathead. Again, the coupon is down below for 20% off. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.